Okay, so we're gonna start the stream recording off with thanking Sham and Green Star for your resubs. Sham at six months, Green at what was it, 27? Huge numbers, huge things, fancy, fancy. Um, thank you guys. You're great. And now we can actually play the game. Oh god, no, it's. <sighs> don't want that music. I managed to fix my delay, but not OBS isn't- but now OBS isn't picking up any sound at all. What? Why? Why is your OBS like this? Why does it hate you? I don't remember what happened last time. Shama, do you- do you have our summary ready? You should just have these prepared on like a notepad in advance. Cause I sure don't know. Like not even my microphone. Oh news. I- maybe I can try to help you, um, later to get it fixed. If you can't get it fixed in the meantime, you know? I have nothing prepared, just Genshin. Stop playing Genshin, oh my god. It should be forbidden, you know? Um, um, um. Um. I don't know what we did last stream. I'm gonna be honest. Also, my throat is angry today, so any any voices that I make um, are going to be horribly inconsistent and a lot lower sounding voices today, because I cannot, cannot do high-pitched shit at all, probably. I don't know if I can, but it's probably going to be a regretty, so... <sighs> Life is regretty. What was I trying to do, though? Like, really, I don't... I have no idea what I was doing. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during that last earthquake? I noticed it when I was playing Overwatch and I was getting confused because uh, the sound wasn't lined up. I would get confused too, especially with something that like might actually need audio cues. Previously on Corpse Party, after being attacked in the infirmary by a strange shadow and having to run for her life, Naomi finds Psycho. Almost like possessed by feelings she couldn't control, she hurt Psycho's feelings. They split only for Naomi to find her hanging herself in the bathroom. Seiko died. The end. R.I.P. Seiko. Miss Yui, where are you? I'm really worried. Yeah, be super worried. She got squished into a different dimension entirely, apparently, because she was not in the room where she got squished previously on Corpse Party. Where am I going? Up the stairs? I guess I guess I'm going up the stairs, cause where else are we supposed to head? Okay. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. I have a strange feeling with custodian. Oh, oh jeebus. <laughs> what the? Oh, she's crying. She must have got real hurt. Can we? Oh, okay, no, no, that's enough. Okay, okay. A crude picture seemingly drawn by a child adorns one of the shelves. Oh, that is a different kind of crude than I was thinking. Okay. Four smiling children are surrounded by an adult and merrily stabbing him to death. Oh. Unsettling. Chapter 2 starts as we go to some other members of class 2 9 Miss Yui, Ayumi, and Yoshiki. Their teacher tries to find an exit only to bump into a red fire ghost. Those that another ghost warned Naomi were dangerous. And they were! When Yoshiki and Ayumi go to find her, they can't find her where she was the last time we saw her. R.I.P. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Well, that's not very ominous. I had a science teacher who had like a bunch of dead bugs arranged on shelves, you know? Why am I not allowed in there? I don't get it. I want to be. Let me in, let me in. Okay, I guess we have to go back down. I'm gonna look and see if we can find Yui again. Yoshiki? What about Yoshiki? You got, you got a thing for Yoshiki? Um, I'm gonna go this way. 
I have no idea where I'm going. I'm lost. Send help. Okay, I don't think that there's any way. I think so. I don't remember what he's like at all. I don't know. He's this, like, blonde, white-haired dude. I'm gonna go with blonde, platinum blonde. I don't know. He's this guy. Who looks like he is too cool for the school. Is this where we originated? Yeah. We kind of staggered for a second when we walked in. Well, I cannot access that door, so I guess uh, I don't need to go that way. Uh, we can try to go down. I don't think we did before, or we couldn't before. There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Alright, and then this is the other side of the classroom. We could not get to... Oh, shit. Also, by now, all members of Class 2-9 have found a recurring element in their respective spaces. News about the hev end of Heavenly Host, when some children were found on September 1973, along with a teacher that held a pair of scissors and supposedly cut their tongues. I like to keep my tongue inside my mouth, thanks. Not interested otherwise, you know? Oh gosh, Ayumi, stop running. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class Rep Shinazaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2 9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? Corpse Party has lots of stuff, so some are so long, you know? Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... Wow. We light some candles like this all throughout the school building? They'll be like signal flares for Mokida and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Oh, yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay. Um, so... I think that we might be in a stairwell that we were in with the other group, possibly? So there's a chance that these candles just look different across dimensions? I don't know. Wave! And lurk! Hi, Deji. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for the wave. I hope your day and your lurks are going good. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. That's not ominous at all, no. Not in the slightest. Lots of shoes. Love me some shoes. I feel like I haven't... Have I been in this room? I don't... I can't remember already. One week and I'm doomed, I swear. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? Probably not. Probably not. It's fine. We don't need object permanence. We need snacks. Oh god. Well, that's a lot of screaming. Where are we going? We don't need roads. We just need human bones. I could use some snacks, to be honest. Do you have pretzels? I say get pretzels. These are human bones. Oh, yeah. oh God, no. <laughs> Does it look like there's blood on these bones? Oh God, she's gonna throw up. Are, are you okay, Shinazagi? I'll be fine after she cries it out. Just hyperventilating a little. Just a little. Weezy, weezy, die, die, murder, murder. She's just gonna end up like one of these skeletons, you know? Come 
Come on, we have to find Miss Yui. I have no idea why I like Ayumi so much. I remember I ended up loving her when the game finished, but so far I don't see anything special in her. Oh. She just seems to have asthma. I guess I'll find out as I see you play this. Yes. Satoshi is she the one who likes spooky stuff? Yes. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinazaki would be a whole, whole lot calmer. Alright, let's investigate these bones. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Alright already. I want to touch all of them. I like Yoshi Yoshiki's voice. That much I know. Somehow I'm not surprised. He's definitely your type as far as anime men go, you know? Aside from maybe not buff enough, but still. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Kai Shimada. Kizama. Kizami? Kizami. Oh, that's unfor- Oh, this is unfortunate. Did you just hear- We have to get away from here. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. I mean, I love a buff boy, but I'm not too picky about body types, to be honest. All good. Body positivity. Tomohiro Okawa. Good idea, Yumi. As I go and collect all these tags, anyway. Masato Fukuroi. I'm more of a face guy. Does he have a good face? Hikari Kirigami. Okay, now we can leave. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, we did not get murdered by a talking skeleton, so... Uh, you know, I think that I am gonna check that out after I go this way. After I go this way. I wanna see... Oh my god, this hallway is infinite. I... Well, fuck. <laughs> I don't know which direction to go in. <laughs> there are two corpses with notes next to them just kind of strewn out. That, that second one was less bloody, but I feel like that's less exciting, you know? Um, hi there. There are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone. So there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. I'm worried with that door there. Nothing looks particularly promising, no. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could get an ID off it. Oh, there it is. Fortunately, there's a student ID name tag next to the body. Emmy Kudo. R.I.P. Emmy. Victim's memoirs. One out of five. I ate my friend today. Wow. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. You mean rock, paper, scissors? Loser eats winner. What? Loser eats? Okay, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I wouldn't feel like a winner if I was eating someone anyway, so hey. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst, and her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person, used to be a cow. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. Used to be a cow, drop a cow. Um, how did the clothes... I was trying to read this before I read the chat, but the memoir thing has taken too long, so... How did the clothes disappear before the flesh turned to bones? That explains it. Oh, the eating of a person part? Baby, I think I fixed it, so I'm gonna do a quick test recording. Good luck on your test recording, even though you probably cannot hear me. You need to get them naked to eat them, you know? No, you really don't. I don't know, no. 
I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. Okay, cool. That's... That's totally what I think when I want a memento off a person, not like their scarf, an accessory, hair tie, nothing like that. No, I'm gonna keep your eyeballs in my pocket. Just, you know, sitting there. I hear they pop if you, like... No, no, you know, no, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, it's fine. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. No, please. Yeah, yeah, um, it's fine. Um, so I think that this is definitely where we were before. Oh no. What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Oh, she's gonna, okay. Yeah, right in this corner, it's fine. Hey, Shinazaki? What is My head is splitting. Probably because you're dehydrated Oi. as shit. I'm crying. Are, are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in here, though. In the back. Just run to the... Oh, no. This is... I haven't saved... It... Oh, 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 it's a blue one. It's, um... It's fine. You're the one that ate somebody, aren't you? What the hell? Just stay back. It's fine. Huh? That's a lot of screaming. Don't scare me like that, jeez. You absolutely, positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Okay. Okay. I understand the assignment. A rusted, blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Yeah. yeah, sure. Found in classroom 4A. It's a plain, rusted nail puller made of iron. Uh-huh. What's the worst that could happen? I want to touch whatever seems to be floating there. Okay. We don't want to look him in the eyes. So... I don't know why Ayumi knows this. Or that we should not do so adamantly but you know what I can sometimes follow instructions not often but sometimes all right so that was probably the one that nommed on her him them probably she knows about ghosts and stuff so you I don't think I've heard a whole lot about not looking them in the eye um, I'm going to go down, go down, go down, go down, going down forever. Um, oh shit. I shouldn't have. What is it? Oh, no. Well, you should ask for some advice, you know? Um, I think we have a problem. Panic? Oi, Suzuki! Hey, Shinazaki, where are you going? I made a mistake, didn't I? What the hell was that all about? Hey, hey, no, 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 we don't run off like that. Hey, oh my god, where did she go? Oh, no, this is some Blair Witch shit. Mmm. Not a fan. Oi, Shinazaki, what are you doing? Oh my god. Shinazaki, there you are. What are you doing? OMG, I fixed it myself. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you, too. Oh, good God. No one's saying that. I'm so happy I played this almost ten years ago. Why? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, no. Oh, no. Because I actually don't know if you're going to die or not. I think I am. Oh, my God. 
I think I made a mistake. I was just trying to go back to a candle to save in case some weird shit happened. Some weird shit happened. Oh my god. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out to celebrate. This lady's cracked and not like in the Fortnite way. Oh my god. Daughter? Yeah, this ain't, this ain't, oh this ain't a uni. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? That's disgusting. Screaming. Why are you both looking at me like that? Okay. Uh -huh. um, hey. 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 <laughs> You having a moment? Kishinomaku! Oh, you're normal again! Is it bad I'd probably leave her there? I probably would've left her there. That's like some zombie apocalypse weird possession shit. So, no thanks. Oh, hey. Kishinuma! What's wrong? Yeah. You? Uh, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. No. Was she not aware? Did she? Does she look like she was aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. I don't think that's how somebody who is having nerves um, responds to anything. I'll save you until you die anyway. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. You're gonna miss Yoshiki when you get to control Satoshi. Yoshiki is pretty brave. Satoshi's a pansy, isn't he? Question mark? Oh, I was hoping that the message would change because, you know, something... Oh, no, it's you. Okay. Oh, my God. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> With me... I don't want to. I was trying to bypass you, thanks. Well, Satoshi would freeze from panic in that situation and probably couldn't even approach her. Did you already die? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, I died. Fact. No, I didn't die. Less fat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinoki! <laughs> Why is everyone calling for Satoshi? He's not fucking here. He's not with any of you. Is anyone there? Yeah, well, apparently not the protagonist who everyone loves and adores. I'm sorry that you guys had to die first. Man, where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? It was weird. It was waiting for you right outside. It looked hard to dodge. No, I did dodge it. That's the thing. Like, I walked... You can walk around it. I walked around it. The issue is that there's a barrier, so when I stepped forward past the barrier of sorts, it flashed red and pushed me back next to him. So, uh, I don't think that there was a way I could go around that <laughs> at all. I can't move. Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? I would be having such a panic attack if this were me. I don't like tight spaces. I don't like dark spaces. Oh, something thunk and shift. <laughs> what the? Who's? Is somebody burying us? I never really understand things where, like people get buried alive in things when they can move, but we can't move, so. Are we tied down? We are totally getting buried to death. Dirt and gravel from above? Oh, that's problematic. Stop! The hell? I'm alive down here. Are you planning to suffocate me? Yeah, yeah, that seems to be the plan. I mean, the problem is that you looked at it in the eyes before moving to a side, so you were dead anyway. Probably that's why the barrier popped up. Oh, that could be it. <laughs> My mouth is getting totally filled up with all this gross shit. Blarg. Blarg. 
Okay, how long do we have to do this? I'm just gonna kind of... As long as it's... Yeah, I can't breathe. Am I gonna die like this? As long as it's just kind of this concept, we're just gonna keep clicking through the burying process. My eyes are really hurting. Yeah, that's where I'm worried. Uh -huh, my eyeballs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, this is how that one died, isn't it? Because they couldn't speak right. And Yoshiki just couldn't speak right. But you could not not look at it because it popped out right outside the cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. So it was impossible to bypass if it was a matter of anything. Anything. We died. We're DED dead. It was weird. <sighs> okay, okay. Are we dead? Wrong end. Uh, you know, I kind of gathered that. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Just kinda. That was really drawn out and a little unnecessary, not gonna lie. Chapter select, chapter two. Okay, so the parts where I have to redo, I am not gonna um, re-narrate. Dead end, so then we gotta go up the stairs. And then we gotta go, I think, down the stairs. We gotta go everywhere, to be honest. Um, I think we have to go through her putting down a candle again because I don't think that I saved one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can't go in there. Right, 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 right. Okay. So we can look at this, see the crude picture again of children slaying a man. It's a good time. It's a good time for everyone except for probably the man, to be honest. All right. Now, now, we go down. Um, we don't need to go in that room again. There's nothing relevant for us there. No, no, we don't need in there either. Can I grab this? Can I have? No, I cannot have. Is not for me. All right, we're going to have this little cutscene here where she puts down Those candles. I should actually save this time. Because I was... My logic was that we didn't get very far, so there was no point in me saving yet. So I was so wrong. Mm. Alright. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Um. I don't think we've done anything that should get us killed, but you know, I'm gonna still put it in a separate file anyway, just for good measure. Okay. Now, I am not gonna walk in that room first. I'm gonna explore other places. Um. I don't know if I should go in this room. I don't know if this room matters. We didn't have any like cutscenes or anything. Um, so I guess it doesn't. Why are the shoes everywhere though, you know? Okay. Yeah, 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 we, oh yeah, I need to pick up the IDs too. Okay, we've gotta have her have her little panic attack thingy. We gotta, um, Yo, what happens to a Yumi in our being buried ending? You know? Was she fine? Cause I would have been fine just carrying on as just a Yumi, you know? I imagine she probably doesn't live very long without somebody else there. But it's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Kizami, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we do have to get away from here, but I want the school IDs. Oh, do I already have them? Because I had them, like... Hmm. Okay. Whatever, that works. Sure. Sure. Why not? Alright, I'm gonna go this way first this time. We're gonna see if we can go in here. Doors affixed to the mall. Mall? To the wall. Can't be opened. Can this one be opened? No. It's a fake. A phony. Alright. Um... Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. Wow. That's what I like to hear. There's a hastily written note on the ground. Its writer seems to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. 
After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. Distress? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Sister, you lied to me. You're gonna leave me behind, aren't you? I'll never forgive you. Oh, that's not ideal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna interact with that. Custodian's closet, it's locked. There's an erratic noise like that of TV static coming from within. Cool story. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. I feel like we're in trouble because I don't know where else to go other than this room over here. Let's see if I can pick up anything from here. Nope. I don't know if I have to read this for it to be relevant. Cool story. Don't want to hear it again. Basement. The door has been nailed shut and is unlikely to be open. Do not allow any person to enter. Principal of Tenjin Elementary School. Okay. <sighs> okay. If I found a basement like that, I'd leave it alone. Me too. Okay, Shinazaki's gonna have her possession moment coming up again. <sighs> but I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do to avoid this from happening, you know? Alright. What do I do? Should I just walk out? Can I just walk out? Is it fine now? I don't think it's fine. I thought she was gonna stab him. No, she's gonna get horribly, horribly possessed. And I'm kind of tempted to try to talk to this little ghosty dude. Oh, he, oh he's not gone. Yeah, so... It says don't look him in the eyes, but I'm tempted to look him in the eyes, you know? I don't know what to do here. I really don't. Like, we're just repeating what I did last time, and it's not going to go well. You'll die if you look at him in the eyes. Have you tried just looking at him when he's sitting here? Nail pull. Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh... So you've totally done it, huh? Yes, I remember that much. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad to learn that before I tried to do it. I... I realize what we're probably supposed to do. Been nailed shut, huh? We can't use that nail puller, huh? Unlikely to be opened. It won't let me use it. Gives you a small screamer, so I remember it quite well. Oh. Okay. Can I just try? Will you let me? No? Okay. I really thought that I was supposed to, like, use the nail puller on that. Okay. So, if we head down, Ayumi totally um, gets possessed. And I don't want that. This is an evil spirit. But I'm tempted to try to talk to it because I think we're just going to end up dying again if we go down, you know? So should I talk to it? <sighs> I'm so torn. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm going to take a drink really quick before I end up losing my voice midstream. <laughs> The worst part is, is that like, there aren't save points in this section, probably because you can die so easily, but that means I have to redo shit every time I die. I don't like repeating actions, it's effort. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try to talk to this thing. I'm gonna cry, I'm sure. Hi. I hate you, sister. It hurts. Okay, so she only says that. Alright. Oh. It's fine. Why is she red? If it's fine. This is not gonna go well. Not gonna go well. Yep, there we go. 
Ayomi should get possessed. Crap. Try... Do not try to bypass the ghost, though. Go back to the cafeteria. Oh. <laughs> Did you Google it? Is that how you know? Oh my gosh. Because trying to bypass it involves looking at its eyes. I feel like anything involves looking at its eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Um... No, no, I shouldn't leave her alone. Um... I was gonna try to go back and save, but I realized that, like, time is, um, getting Boy, hanged in a bathroom, you know? Alright, we've got this great scene here with the Yumi being real batshit. Real batshit. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know what's disgusting, but uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, never abandoned friends. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We have some panic face, which is totally reasonable. Totally. Yeah. And then she's fine. Everything's good. Fine. Everything's normal. Normal, normal, normal. Definitely your imagination. I'm going to take a look around this room just to see if there is anything new. Um, the answer is no. No, there's nothing new. Cool story, yeah! Oh shit, nope. No, no, no. Okay, yep, we totally... We totally were supposed to come in here. <laughs> this that ghost from before. It left the classroom. <laughs> oh, we learned that, Ayumi! Don't let it touch you! Uh-huh, is he able to come in here? Uh, I don't know. I think we're going on video game logic and it's safe to exit. But now it's not don't look in his eyes, it's don't let him touch you. And I don't know if those two rules have to exist simultaneously or not. Shit, 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 no, 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 no. Yes, because the hallway gets narrow to the sides, so you literally cannot walk forward without it touching you or looking you in the eyes. Yeah, that's the problem! That is the exact problem! Okay. I'm probably gonna have to repeat this a few times, I'm not gonna lie. He's blue, though. Why is he dangerous? Blue is supposed to mean nice! Oh my god, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't think I'm safe, but I'm pretending that I am. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we are absolutely saving. Absolutely. Alright, uh, that was great, that was a fun time, definitely 10 out of 10. Don't want to repeat that ever again in the existence of ever. I don't know how to get that, but I want it, you know? Okay. It's fine. Can I bring the weird congealing bucket to him? They exist simultaneously, basically. Never let it get one less than one square, square away from you. Like, if he's in the square right next to yours and you're looking at him, you're dead. If he touches the same square, you're dead. That's so dumb. That's too much effort. There are too many rules. Too, too many. I don't do rules very well. Is an issue, Ghosto? I don't understand, though. Why is he blue if he is a bully? Blue is not supposed to mean... Oh, fuck. It's not supposed to mean bully. It is supposed to mean bestie. Blue for bestie. Did you save? Yeah, I saved once I got into the stairwell. I, I said I was absolutely saving. We aren't we aren't going through Ayumi's screaming and weird shit. Don't do anything he'll regret. Think of your mother and your father. Remember their faces. You have only one life to live. Make it count. Don't get buried by an angry blue ghost though. Do not waste the precious gift of existence. Uh -huh. Sounds very precious right now. I totally love existing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um... 
The blue red rule only applies to fire ghosts. Ones that have a physical body do not follow that rule. That is dumb. Okay. I think that this one's going to be a safe thing to overwrite. Honestly, I don't think that I need to save from the stairwell to here, but I'm dumb. I mean, yes. <laughs> I had to think real hard on how <laughs> how that was going to come off if a stranger entered the stream at the same time as me saying it and just thinks that I'm being an ass hat. But I swear, it's just it's part of the part of the bit. Okay. I don't know what bit anymore, but it's part of it. Oh my god. So I do have to go back down. I'm just going to overwrite this one. There's no point in not overwriting, you know. Not looking forward Ooh, to this. If you're a stranger watching the stream, it's totally part of the bit. Oh my god, leave me alone. Oh my god, I made mistakes saving there at all. Going there at all. It is not. She's a bully. Help me. You could say blue ghost bully is a blue Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How do I get around him? Do I have to- hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I know, I know what I did. I, I don't- I don't feel comfortable with any- Or are, are you- Oh my god, you're stuck. Really? Really? You're gonna do me like this? Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Get real close here, buddy, so that we can try not to touch. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. This isn't panic-inducing at all. No, not at all. No, this is fine. This is exactly how I like to live my life. On the edge. Uh, the edge of what I don't know, but uh, the edge is definitely there. Somewhere. Hi, skeleton. Let's go to this room. It's very safe, I'm sure. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. Are we gonna go in here and find him sitting there still? No. No, we're not. Okay, cool. Can I do anything with this thing? It looks very questionable, whatever it is. No. No, we can't do anything with that. Don't know its purpose? Probably never gonna know its purpose. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm feeling like everything might not, in fact, be fine. I hate to say. What if... What if I am supposed to bring blue ghost to red ghost? Hmm? How have we considered that? Hi. Yeah, it hurts. Uh-huh. Sucks to suck. We has not. Okay, so maybe? Why is there like some weird frame rates going on here? This is like an RPG Maker style game. I think this was actually made in Unity and not RPG Maker. But the point still stands. Okay, Ghosto doesn't seem to come up here. Which I might be proven, like, wrong in a few minutes. But... Why can't I enter here? I should be able to. I have a nail puller. I remember on the last thing we found a room with a nailed door. This is the room with a nailed door. That's the problem. Hold on, I need to fix something here. There we go. For some reason, um, oh shit, now I've broken things. Okay, no, no. Wish I could know where that is, though. Is it possible that it is literally right where I just read the door has been nailed shut? <laughs> I can't open it though. I, um. Do I have to do this like. No. No. I don't feel it was that one. Was there one like back upstairs with Miss Yui? There was one that was like partly blocked. I'm tempted to just let him kill me. Okay, no, he's actually easy to pass right here. Alright, so if you're talking about one. All right, we'll go, we'll go up there. I didn't know that was nailed shut though. For some reason I thought it was just blocked. You might be right though. I'm gonna trust you on it, which you know, iffy, but no, it's, it, it's probably it. It's gotta be, cause there's, 
<laughs> like nothing else. Totally iffy, yes. Just like my ability to walk through doors is pretty iffy, not gonna lie. All right, door is nailed shut and the nails are hammered in tight. Not gonna open through normal means, use a nail puller. Wow, it works. Although successful in loosening every nail and opening the door, the rusted old nail puller broke apart in the process. Wow. Now, for anyone who's getting anxiety because I have not saved in a while, it's because um, my last save point was still in the sa stairwell and I did not accomplish anything in between all my running around the blue ghost and now. So I'm not, I'm not bothering saving again because I don't gain anything from saving. There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You'll notice dark spots dotting the page and realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. Sounds pretty disturbing. In a fruit loop. I love fruit loops. Oh my gosh. But curiosity can be deadly and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. I love Fruit Loops too. They cannot be sold on regular stores here. What? They can't? The heck, you're up. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Oh, but I wanna. He told me not to and now I really wanna. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. They have too much sugar. You can only sell them on imported candy stores. What the fuck? That's insane. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it? Yeah, sure. Why not? I know where the other one is. Because I was just talking about it. Yeah, that one. Oh, wow. I love me some levers. But selling beer on McDonald's? That's fine. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. I don't understand Europe. Okay. We've got the warning. Don't read the memoirs all the way through. We fixed the pulley system that we didn't know existed. I am gonna be honest, I kind of thought what was in that corner was um, a substance related product. <laughs> I don't know why in a school I thought that. I figured it had to be either a weird um, lamp, kind of like an oil lamp, or, you know, something that's definitely not an oil lamp. Alright, we're gonna save. And... And go around. The blue ghost boyo. So he's probably still chilling over here somewhere. Yeah, there you are, there you are. Oh my god, there you are. I'm sure that I could loop him elsewhere. But this is just where I feel most comfortable doing so. Hi, buddy. Hi, pal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thanks. Bye! We zoom. We zoom. Oh, God. We get stuck on a hole in the ground. Back to zooming. Back to not getting stuck on a hole in the ground. That's kind of embarrassing, you know? Okay, that one was, I think, over here by that. I hate everything. <laughs> Oh my god. What is with this room being like a hallway classroom though? Really? It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it? Yeah, let's fall to our death. I'd have a nightmare in this classroom like that, right? Me too. Oh. Well that sure is some oh fuck this is very not ideal 
please. No, not like this. Not. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was terrifying. I have no idea how I got away from that. Oh my god. No, not like this. Are we safe now? The scary music is gone. Oh my god, that was terrifying. The cursed writings left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist upon reading such dangerous words, too, I pray, pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Don't, no. Nah, nah, I'm good. Um, this is a dead- oh no, no, there is a down. Okay, thank god. I was like, this is a dead end, and that is bullshit. Okay, Ayumi, we could use, like, one of your candles again? Please? Is that where you're gonna put no, no. them? What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? Handles, yes. Handles. No, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. I was like, is she a handle saleswoman? Yes, oh. for sure. Go ahead. I like her little sit-down animation. The skirt even kind of floofs, and I think that's a nice detail for character sprites like this. Okay, we are absolutely saving. I am gonna save in this slot. I am gonna confuse the by Jesus out of me in primary entrance. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I have to try to enter it. I have to. Spooky sound. Please don't have a hair monster. Please don't have a hair monster. Please don't have a hair monster. Oh, yeah, Kool Aid Man voice? No. How to remove a tongue? Two. It can be a real challenge to keep straight just which. What? To keep straight just which warm. Oh! Which warm severed tongue belongs to which patient? Because you know you're cutting out multiple and you want to leave them on your desk as a nice paperweight. As such, it is highly recommended that the tongues be tagged or marked once detached. Their owners will be in no state to identify them after all. This reminds me of that father game. I agree. Which I really liked Mad Father, so. Best to work quickly, too, before things get hectic. The patient's bare tongue stumps will suffer postpartum swelling resulting in a slow suffocation. Wow. You may wish to put the patient down once the inevitable squirming begins. It's kinder that way and will free you to tag your trophies in peace. I love that he just backs away very quickly. Blades covered liberally in blood. Medicine tonics, herb burrs. Can I read this? Open journal and framed picture on the desk. I don't think I could interact with these before. The journal seems almost decorative, as if it were a plastic model built into the desk. No, I did look at that. No part of it can be moved, even the slightest bit. Well. Uh-huh. Anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, each individual organ seems to be bloodstained and swollen, as if it could burst forth with a spray of gore at any moment. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Handle turns with a loud squeak, not a drop of water comes out. Old fashioned space heater. Unfortunately, it's so full of ash that it'll probably not ever light again. Wow. Okay. Well, we didn't get murdered in there, which is good. I like to not get murdered. Wasn't this where there were like squishy body parts before? Of like a dead person? I need to make a game like this someday. Also, yay, no murder, right? The both of those make all the games okay what's in this room i can't oh that's the staircase all right all right all right i think so yes right next to the infirmary yeah that's what i was thinking oh we can't we can't even get in these rooms anymore all right i don't know if we i thought we could before but i might be wrong too
probably. It only happened in Naomi's dimension. Why only hers, though? Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals Ryosuke Katayama. I don't know who Kazami is, but no, I'm good. Am I Kazami? Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Uh, do you think our little blue ghost might be the issue here? Do you think that it murdered all these people? Is that the person that's murdering everyone? It's like, I wouldn't put it past it. It crazy. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I know they're in a different dimension. So I know that their corpses- Oh, you're so nice! Aren't gonna be here? Oh, I died. Oh okay. no! Well, <laughs> they're still there. <laughs> hey, did you just hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. We should leave this room right now. Okay. Ayumi, what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. The kid is definitely related, but we also saw that girl in red. The... Red angry sister spirit? Question? Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Oh, no. What's this? Nothing? Oh, wow, that is... Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's probably nothing now. The girl in a red dress Psycho and Naomi saw. I forgot that one. Oh yeah, 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 I remember now. Mm, seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like... a person. S somebody died here? I can hear her voice and it's totally Seiko. No, oh, no, please don't. Oh, don't be a. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ayumi, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We've. We've got an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely Seiko. Oh god, Ayumi, please. Damn it, Paul. What the hell is going on around here? I wanted to investigate. Oh, don't chase her yet. Okay. I... Are you alright, Shinazaki? Oh no, she's totally gonna be possessed again. Yeah, ooh, get you, you two. Ayumi's got issues. She clearly is very good at being possessed. Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. So with that smile... I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. <laughs> Clean up is a real pain in the ass, too, you know. Have some pity. I'll leave you to it. It's- oh, no, no, it's fine. Oh, what's up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll say fight it. We'll say fight it. It's definitely a yeah. It's definitely an uag situation. Uh huh.
I don't pity a Yumi's voice actress. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that now. Hell, that really hurt. I guess she decided that fight it means fight me. I believed in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? Fight it. Fight me, I guess. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. I think we just need to take that bucket of congealed liquid and dump it on Ayumi's head. Um, okay, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, I would leave her. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely not okay right now. We lock her in a closet. We haven't found any closets. The best we got is the infirmary, which we know from alternate dimension is not a safe place. God damn it. Oh no. There's a fire. Can you go into the boys' bathroom and check the mirror? Um, yeah, yeah, I can do that. The mirror is slightly vibrating against the back wall with each subtle movement you make, clattering as it does so. Okay, so do I just clomp around a little bit? Climpy clompa climp clompa? Um, nah, never mind. Uh, okay. Eh, nobody's in there. Okay. I think something cool would happen. Is she gonna beat me up if I touch her? Like, is she actually dangerous to me right now? That's what I'm trying to determine. I know this is probably gonna get me killed. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. Can you save before you find out? Um... No. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ayumi is kind of in charge of our candles. Uh, she's a little psychotic right now, and to get to the last candle, it looks like I might have to touch a red spirit, which probably is about as safe as touching a Yumi herself. Welp indeed. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. I want to open this. What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. Uh-huh. He doesn't care about the rest of these all being pitch black, too. Now that's totally normal and fine. Uh-huh. Okay. Shinozaki. Yeah, very Shinozaki. Oh, we're gonna look at this mirror. Oh, no, we're just gonna have a little sit. Clearly, though, Shiki has never read a Junji Ito bit book. No, definitely not. Uh, do you think that he reads, like, any books, though? For realsies? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Shinuma! No, exactly. Oh, are we having a flashback? Crap. Yep, yep. Not into books. What's all this smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall, right this instant. It's fine, flush the toilet with your cigarette, damn it. Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Gym teacher, I like your voice too. It sounds very familiar. Uh, well, no sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. The deeper the better. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. You sound real sorry. You're a real problem, child, you know that? Why do you even come to the school in the first place? Probably because school is still better than home. Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Sounds like a real something. Also, I already need new glasses, so if there's typos, it's not my fault. Why do you need new glasses so fast? 
Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. I really don't like gym teacher's hair. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. I don't know, it's weird. It's like my left eye used to be the bad eye, but now the vision there seems better, and now my right eye has been really blurry. Did something happen to it? Wow, gym teacher F you, man, right? He makes me think of some teachers, though, from when I was in school. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they've never once shown their faces around here. Almost like he just said that he, the kid was disowned. Makes me think of Mr. Reminds... It rhymes with row. Got nothing. Oh, 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 I do got something. I never had that teacher, though, luckily. Bald. He had a, uh, that teacher that you're referring to had a handlebar mustache by the time I graduated. It was hilarious. Uh, not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say? That's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. There's clearly just nah. They're clearly just not good parents. I feel like this was just him dumping an explanation about this guy's backstory for us to understand. A little too clumpily. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Uh-huh, what's your excuse? Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. This teacher has no chill. I mean, he kind of right, but I don't know. I don't know if he kind of right. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in the world. Popping out babies. Yeah. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in the school. It really is pointless. I should really just beat the crap out of this jackass, then drop out. I'm pretty sure that... You don't need to drop out because you get expelled for that shit. I know I am gym teacher because I agree with him mostly. Oh no, I don't. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. <laughs> well, newsflash, they're not. Hmm, what's with that look? Looks like you have a very punchable face, sir. But I wouldn't say it to a student. Yeah, you probably shouldn't say it to a student, no. I've never hit a teacher before. Oh, well. First time for everything. Mr. Subota? Ah. Oh, Nanda? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Hmm? Gotcha, thanks. Shinozaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Oh, God. Yes, his hair's terrible. And then they teach their kids their bad behavior and the prejudices, so that's the part I can understand. I mean... I'm not gonna trauma dump here, but I'd say that it, it doesn't... Your parents don't necessarily reflect you, depending on you know, who you are as a person. We instructors like your kind best of all. What, hot little girls? Is that what you're saying? You want a little one-on-one -on -one time in the staff room with her? Is Because I that's the vibe that I'm getting from your text here, buddy. You ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? Uh-huh. I'm sure she won't. That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. 
Well, the difference there is that eventually people know right from wrong, and most people don't make that choice to not be their parents. Maybe I'm the worst. You're totes the worst. worst. A bajillion percent. Worst. You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? Hmm. Obvious, huh? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. She's crying. And you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. <coughs> I think school is pointless anyway. Man. Uh, I don't... I don't disagree, but I don't agree. You know? It could use some reforming. At least in the US. I don't know about in other countries. Honestly... What? <laughs> Why are you crying? Because she's a big baby. Reforming, yes. yes. Sorry, whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Manji, I do that too sometimes. Somehow. I am not surprised. <laughs> I immediately know why I like the Yumi. Oh no. I had a feeling that this section I made you remember. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Later. Okay, thanks, bye. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course. Okay, bye. He he he, says the man. Okay, well that was a good trip down memory lane. Okay, thanks for saving my education, bye, yeah. Thanks for being the reason why I'm trapped in this weird hellscape now. Because otherwise I would have gotten expelled and it'd be fine. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. Good so point, that. yeah. Yeah, see. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here. I'd protect her no matter what happened. Uh -huh. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Oh, we have a problem. We have a problem. Hi. Oh, wow, she's a little slobbery. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm really thinking what we do is we grab the bucket, right? We don't need to we don't need to put the goop on her. We can dump it out first if we've got enough time, but we put the bucket on top of her head. We trap her head inside the bucket so that we can't see these crazy faces, and then we like lead her around with a rope or something, preferably with her hands bound so that she can't try to beat the shit out of us. And then everything's fine. And um yeah, it's a great plan. It is really it's great. I think that it is Probably the closest to flawless that we can get in this situation, you know? Shinozaki. Are we gonna give her a nice huggy hug? Oh yeah, we are actually gonna give her a nice huggy hug. Is he gonna cry? Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. You're acting crazy, Bucket. Yeah, it's just Bucket time. I immediately ship them. Okay, thanks, bye. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. She's gonna stab him and kill him. Ing. 
so warm. Nom nom nom. All our classmates except at least Seiko. Yeah, at least. I'm not gonna lie. It. I have to say he's either really dumb or really courageous because I would not hug somebody who is going through all of that. Definitely would not be initiating any normal physical contact. Kishinuma, where? What? What? Say courageous, yeah. Shinazaki, you're. Oh god, they're screaming. Yoshiki's great, to be honest. He's very brave. Is it you? Are you back? What do you? Oh no. So what you're saying? Yeah, so far, all the corpses we've found in here have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Hmm. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once. Your intuition's wrong. I was shipping you two, but she can't even call it a hug. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. Oh, and then she shit herself. Okay. And then I avoided my fowls, and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. <laughs> I know. Well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. I am not looking forward to trying to get back to the classroom. Gonna be honest. It does not feel promising. I'm very worried about this. Did we already check this? Yeah, we did. This game is very descriptive on how the things happening physically affect the characters, which results in a lot of drama and a lot of talking about butts, I've noticed. Which I can't say I am a fan of. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Scared the Jesus out of me. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I think it's safe to. I don't know. I don't know what's safe anymore. Nothing is safe. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but I know the game is telling me here to go here. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't go in there. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's 
right, it's the same for me. I love my school. Where is your head? Suzumoto, get away! You need to run, quickly. She can't seem to hear us. And my homeroom teacher's the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Why aren't they talking back? Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it. Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Oh, you don't have an eye. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have enough of this crack cackling bitches, right? Well, now we're getting crying. Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Hmm? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, and these ghosts really don't bat an eye to cause a fuss, huh? Huh? I mean, there is one eye to be batting. I feel like if this ever happened to me, I'd just sit by the front door. I feel like I would probably do the same. Heavily because I wouldn't know what to do. Heavenly Post, four children abducted, follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. Okay, ghosties, no need to lose your head. Only one of them. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Why aren't you carrying it around? Do it on time. Ow. Yeah, I think ow might be an understatement. The heavenly host elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. Of these children, one was... When investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was blood, very, very descriptive. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. <gasps> you know, I, I get that you're saying they're friendly and all, but I still don't think that I would want to be hanging out. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in the photographs, and one of them is conveniently missing their head. Wow. Someone used the newspaper for a scrapbook. It's true. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them, too. I just can't ignore these poor souls. I'm gonna stay with them. Why can't we bring them with us? I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. I don't think she's listening. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Oh no. Really, did we need the. Do we, do we need. Okay, that. No, but it's fine. I like how this girl with the one eye looks a lot better when she's actually, like, pictured like this. Oi, oi. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh no. What the hell did they do? No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, fire? 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 Explodey? 
Explodey? No. Okay. Um. I don't think that we have a choice of anything we can do in here. Buan. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Alright, well. Guess we're leaving. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Oh, your nose is bleeding. I don't see it. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez, and you're so blunt about it, too. Honk. Oh my god. Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello. Oh no. Oh! Oh no. Yeah, the eyes as though no part. She's got eyes like a dead fish. I like her little hair accessory up top though. The star. Super cute. She's cute, too, if she wasn't, like, zombified. You've only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? I do like the glasses. She is very cute. It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho Sainaki. I don't know how to pronounce this shit. I need to take a drink really fast. My throat is exploding. I also just noticed that like, shadows pulse around the edges of the screen. Sainaki? Is that it? I think she was on TV, receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Pulsing Shadows Best Shadows? Probably not Best Shadows. Probably Spooky Shadows. Yeah. Voice She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Because I'm dead. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Oh, no. No, just... Hey, sorry to interrupt, but, you know, you just say something about this after-after charm that we all ripped apart. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition on purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. 
What? それよりお友達が大変なことに。The greater concern right now is your friend. そうなんです。That's right. We totally forgot about her floating in the room next to us. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Watashi wa koko de shinu mai ni. Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means to help her. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched high and low for any means of escape. I searched She's an awful non-transparent. She's awful non-transparent to be a ghost, right? I feel like she just like possessed herself or something. I don't know. Can you do that? You know, victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Jido Yunmei, 連続誘拐殺害事件で惨殺された子供たちの例 Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. She's a woman possessed. Yes, with herself. Yes. Saki no shinbun kiji ni chashin tsuki de nootte ta yonin ka. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. So da no. It sure seems like it. Watashi wa tochu uchi kara tsuki de kanai masen de shita ga. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. Ano kotachi no rei o. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there might just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. So, I think so. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah. But put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Become besties and start hovering like we belong in the Exorcist? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. Yes, <laughs> uh, that's the only way I'm seeing it. The one who killed them? Are you saying the murderer is in the school? Yes. Seriously. How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Um, poke him in the eyeballs until he changes his mind. Head. Something to hit bucket with. You know? Where would we even begin? I don't know. Mei's having a bad time. You need to do whatever you can and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. I'd say hurt might be an understatement. Oh, we will. I will think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Okay, you're gonna run off. That's cool. Hey, Shinazaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or paranormal researcher, but I'm gonna take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. I don't think that you should take. Oh gosh, she's just okay. Oh, if it's because they're teens, but his proportions seem weird. Ah, you know. <laughs> It might just be the art style. Oh, please tell me she's not being possessed again. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. 
I'm relieved for that. Don't make the stairs slippery, please. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. She needs to get out of the school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Because if there was an exit, everyone would use it. Okay, well, we got that. I I don't know if I should be going up these stairs right now to save. But I also don't know which save files are best to just get rid of. Uh, I'll go with the this this one because this is right before we stepped in the infirmary so i think it's safe to do this no this is right before we stepped in the infirmary this is way before then you know what fuck it we're doing this one <sighs> figuring out save files and where the fuck i put them with my lack of organizational skills very difficult just saying Okay, I have no idea what we're doing now. Oh, Jeebus, it's you again. I forgot. I forgot you exist. I would like to go back to forgetting you exist. I'm sure that we have to go down here for a reason. Running from the kid. Yeah, running from the kid. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Gonna try to just do it this way. Zoom, 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 zoom. I don't know where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? Okay, I'm feeling like it has to be one of these two rooms that we can't get in. I remember she's one of the most important characters in the game, but I'm trying to remember why and I can't. Because she's the reason we had a thing happen at all. Guess I'll find out watching you play, you know? Oh yeah, totally. Alright, I'm kind of entering rooms to just see if there are cutscenes at all, but you know, there aren't. Fuck! Forgot about you! Never mind! Changed my mind! We're going back! We're going back in here. Oh my god. I got stuck on an opening that I shouldn't have gotten stuck on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going right now, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to interact with him. Because I feel like I'm probably not supposed to. But simultaneously, I feel like maybe I'm supposed to, you know? Uh, buddy oh pal, you're stuck. Did you know you're stuck? You don't know how to unstuck, so it's cool. Then I'll kill you. Somehow I had a feeling. Okay, we're gonna just try to go upstairs, I guess? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't think we need to go to the room full of shoes. Because, um, you know, we've got our own pair. And it looks a lot nicer than all of the ones that are in the lockers. So, I can't decide if to save here or not. No, no, I'm not gonna, because it's basically just a straight shot. We just have to avoid that kid. Strange yellow fluid, congealing in bucket, cool. Oh, wait, shit, no, I do want to save. I do want to save. Never mind, hold on. We're going back. I'm realizing where we're going to. Um... Gonna put it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's so not fine. Okay. We're gonna say it's fine. And we're gonna proceed. Regardless. Even if it's not. Even if I'm gonna get us killed. Okay. Okay, okay. This is where we were supposed to wait for Miss Yui. The note to Miss Yui is still here, untouched and unaltered. Looks like she hasn't come back yet. Can't believe she'd still be out there looking for Nagashima. Oh, uh, well, you know, when you don't have your legs for a little while, it does take you a bit longer to find another person. Gonna go in here, see if we can find teacher. Still no teacher to be found. Wow, wow. Um, well, that's not going to get me very far either, admittedly. There's a hole in the ground. Why am I... I don't need to walk through there a second time. Why do I keep doing that? This shouldn't have a different message. Yeah, don't do anything you'll regret. 
Life, existence, herp, 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 herp. Oh, what is this? There's a severed head of an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Totally. Oh, wow, that's like the little loading screen to begin the game. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. Murder. What the? I hear a voice. So I need to find something that represents repentance from the murderer to help me. Hmm. A doll head is definitely it. If we take the doll head, we can stick it on the headless girl you see. And then she will have a head. She will think that the murderer gave her back her head because he feels bad. And um, this is where the question marks and then the prophet line comes in. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Return my body? Oh, that's good. That's a good time. Antique doll head! An old stained head from an antique Japanese festival doll. Fantastic. Not ominous, no. Imagine opening a package and that's what you get in the mail, right? I feel like that should be able to constitute some sort of death threat. Oh yeah, we're not allowed in there. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a little stabby stabby picture. Dead bugs. There is nothing I can do up here then? Shit. I waddled my ass up here for nothing. This kid is a smoker. He ain't got the lungs for these staircases all day. I'm real proud of him for not wheezing his way up these stairs, you know? Found the doll head. It's fine. It is fine. We're just gonna take it back to the headless girl and profit. I'm gonna go make dinner now, but good luck not buying. Have a good dinner. I hope it's tasty. Thanks for hanging out and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we've got a doll head. Um. I don't know who to feed the doll head to, but, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Is there a doll in here at all? No. Um, nothing new in here, that's for sure. Well, dang. I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Drop it in a bucket? No? Okay. Well, I tried. I still want to know how to get that glowy. It's so far away. Well, if you found the doll head going back to a place where you had been before, probably it's a good idea to do that with other places. I don't want to go to the other places. I just want to win now, you know? All right, this is the same place from before. We just have a doll head too. <sighs> the issue is that I don't want to have to keep dodging the little ghost kid. He is legitimately my only issue. He's gonna show up here, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hi, buddy. Let's see if I can just dodge you from over here. No, you're gonna come from the side. Okay, you're just being a little fucking ass hat. I see. Coming. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't mind me insulting this kid. I'm gonna go this way, even though I probably shouldn't, just in case. Hmm, that looks promising. You know, actually, maybe it was a good idea. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Don't worry about the glowy thing, by the way. You cannot get it. You had to get it when you were playing with a teacher, but you missed it. It was nothing ultra important, though. It was super important. I knew it couldn't be this easy. Panic. Why won't you open? We shouldn't be knocking. We're gonna draw attention with that little ghost wandering boy. Let us out, you worthless pizza. God, you're annoying. Just shut up. Panic. Ugh. Even if it did open, I'd be staying right where I am. 
You think I'm just going to abandon Miss Yui and all our friends and run away? Yeah. That's what someone who wants to live does. What's your problem? I never said that. Wuss, coward, delinquent? Now how about you shut the hell up? Oh wow, can't handle a sass right back, huh? Come on, let's just go. Wish I were with Mokita instead of you. Rude as fuck. I would leave her here now. I'd just, you know what, I'd be like, mm, you know what, fuck it. Rude. Ugh. Yes, it is rude as fuck, okay? Does it say anything different? No. I mean, can you really blame me? I do not have the patience for people like this. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, time to scream and fall down. Oh god, there is a hole in the ground now. That's a problem. Okay. I can always blame you? No. No, you cannot. Excuse me, pardon me, come through. Don't know if I need to go this way, but it's where I'm going anyway. Alright. Uh, I probably have to go back up, but turn right. Oh, that's, I think, where I was going. Can we go in here? No. It's worth a shot. Was I supposed to turn right down? Oh, you did good, I think. We found a doll, so I think you're right. I think you're right. There's an old-fashioned festival doll laying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Wow. Pick it up. Yeah, totally. Let's just glue them together. It's going to be fine. Wee wee. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. To have its head stapled back on to its body. What I hear a voice. Give me back my head? I mean, that's easy enough. We've got both chunks. Acquired body. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, methodical, and almost robotic monotone. <laughs> to have killed children so brutally... I was not in my right mind. I did not want them to die. I was scared too. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. I am actually a good person. I don't think so, no. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I like the whole voice, thanks. I'm not gonna repeat this one, because it's just... Sorry is again. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear? We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? Acquired penitent spirit, an antique festival doll bearing the spirit of a man with a guilty conscience. I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. I mean, makes sense. 
Why does that area make everything so clippily? Okay, so now we have to get around that stupid blue kid. Hi. Hi, yeah, you. Mm-hmm. Hi, you. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yeah. You. Thanks. Bye. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. We gotta make it back up to the infirmary. Um... You don't have to forgive him. We just need the headless and eyeless kid to forgive him. And be like, nah, I didn't even need those anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's totally the point. We are gonna save before we walk in there. I don't know which of these to save at anymore, to be honest. I've just got a whole mess going on. I'll save on this one. Why not? I don't know what half of these are for anyway. All right, so we're gonna go in there, hopefully have some sort of semi-interesting conclusion for this stream, and then that, that'll, be, that'll be our stream for the day. Suzumoto! Suzumoto-san! I feel like I don't have to translate this line. Just saying. Why is she over here now? <laughs> Open your eyes, please. Oh no, that's a problem. <laughs> Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What's a, what the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Oh, I think you made him angry. Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Come on. Me too. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the pen penitent spirit sealed within. Oh, that one looks sad. The other one, I'll pretend looks sad. I don't know what my E could be. Oh, mommy. Poor ghost girl, just needs some head pads. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. Yes, yeah, very frowny face. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Or they murder everyone, because we've got some flashing red lights. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. Oh no. This is not. Oh, this is not very reassuring feeling. <laughs> no, stop. Their parents. Did I miss something? Are their parents dead too? Oh no. Everyone go back to their parents. Yeah, I... I get this feeling I know where this is going, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I mean, it's been 30 years. Um... It is entirely possible that the parents could be dead? I don't... I don't know. Or it's just flowery words. Oh, they might be dead now. Yeah! Like, hopefully not. That wouldn't be very old, but still. Yeah, you're probably connecting dots, probably. Ayumi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh, no. <sighs> Ayumi, please. You should have just sat in here. Is she? No. Oh no. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm, I don't know. 
I'm gonna do this one because um, these two save files are very close together. Anyway, you know, it's like beginning of the game shit, so it's fine. It's fine. It's so not fine. This is not fine. This is so not fine. Uh, yep, 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 yep. The squishy bits. What the hell? This is oh God. screaming. You don't gotta scream. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't look at it. Yeah, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore. Oh, you stepped in it. Oh, we're stuck in it. Oh, no. Don't lick it, you're right. Key from prior stream. Don't lick it. I'm, I'm really starting to lose it. Oh my god. Oh no. She didn't. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Schloop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Schloop. <laughs> I can't. I can't. We've got another schloop. It's supposed to be him. It's supposed to be bad times and it's sleep. Yeah, bad times with the slooping. Oh hey, Yui, how's it how's it going? What? The shell feels like it's gotten lighter. Ew. Oh, is that your joints creaking? <laughs> oh yeah, you're bleeding still. Yeah. So you're really truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? A little late for that. <laughs> of course I am. But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. Well... I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Sometimes more, I'm paying for sounds. But for some reason there are no sounds happening. What? <laughs> oh wow, you really bloody. Never underestimate a teacher. Well... I'm redeeming bing bongs and shit? It's not showing that you're redeeming anything on my side. I think Twitch is borked today. So, I, I don't know. Uh, I doubt it'll take your, um... It's totally borked. I doubt it'll take your whatchamajiggies. It did take your points? Um, give me a second. I'll try to refresh the dashboard and see if... Oh, it is showing now that, uh... You did them. I can always refund those. So, I think wherever the refund button is. I don't know where the refund button is. So, I'll refund them after the stream because I can do that more easily when I'm not trying to focus on the stream also, you know? But yeah, I can totally refund those. I don't know why the Bing Bong and the Plus Ultra did not work. Um, but Twitch was weird for me when I started it up today. So, I figure it's something on Twitch's end. Oh gosh, I clicked off this apparently. Oh my god. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that sound? Oh, 
Now answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporal entities joined us in these closed spaces, all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. Oh god. Yeah, I'm doing some crunchies. My right arm is definitely broken. Definitely. And all this blood. All those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinazaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. Uh, you're in for a surprise. That spirit was trapped here. Just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred, one victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. Mrs. Yui, the classroom is not even there anymore. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. Wham! Chapter 3 has been unlocked. We did it! Success. I was kind of hoping that was going to be the end of the chapter, so that, um... Yeah, you know, it would sit nicely at the end of the stream. Wham, wham! We succeeded. Um, I should probably write... Penitence Achievement Unlocked. I am going to quickly exit this game before it tries to put us in other stuff. Yeah, I was considering telling you before you triggered the last cutscene, but didn't want to spoil. Well, yeah, I kind of, I had a feeling, so. Cupcake, yes, the cupcake is here. Is here for the not consumings. Um, so yeah, we're going to call it there for tonight. It is a good place for us to do a stopping in. Uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you again to Shamrocks and Green Star for your resubbings of the resubbings. Felt like the end of the chapter was coming. It really did. I had a feeling. I knew there had to be some sort of resolution, whether it was squishy, explosive, or you know, happy for a short while. But did you gotta blushes? Did ya? Did you really? But yeah, anyway, thank you all for hanging out, watching, doing the chatting, the resubs, and the things, and then Sham's scrambled brain. Um, and I hope to see you all next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was fun. And next week will hopefully be fun too. Next time. Bye-bye.